welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. And on this episode, we are debuting two, not one, but two brand new codexes sent to us by Games Workshop. I've got here the Adeptus Sororitas, and pa uh, uh, Jay over there has the Gene Stealer Cult. So uh, we're very excited because not only are we debuting two brand new armies painted up fully, yeah. two new codexes, but we also have the new uh, Warhammer chapter approved uh, mission deck, uh, Pariah Nexus. Now, we've been basically everybody since the launch of Warhammer about a year ago, everybody's been playing all the same missions. Right, the so Leviathan box. Uh, the Leviathan mission deck set. Right. So now Pariah Nexus is going to uh, vary up the mission, so we'll see what we get. We're going to do uh, randomized. Um, and yeah, and then actually, uh, Games Workshop also sent us all the new uh, cards, sent yeah. us these new cards. Uh, we have these different uh, cards. I always love the data cards. Anytime you you play one of these tabletop games, it's just way better when you have all of your stats very easily right in front of you instead of flipping through a big old book. And I actually like the way they've got these these little uh, gold. This is gold for. Adeptus Sorotas, and Jay has some, so like, some purple uh, ones. Shiny purple. We'll show uh, Jay here. Jay's got that purple, and I got that gold. Now, I love these. There's only yeah. one thing missing from them. Uh, because the new codex debuts new detachments, which is how your army works, I would like for them to add detachment cards. Right, so that I know how each of my, uh, you know, armies or detachments right, right, right. work. Currently, there are no detachment cards, so that's a huge miss on there. So maybe that's something that they can correct uh, for uh, Warhammer in the future. All right, well, let's go ahead. And uh, let's get a word from our sponsors before we begin. So let's start with uh, my army first. So here are the Adeptus Sororitases. All right, here is my 1,500 points of uh, the Adeptus Sororitas, the Sisters of Battle. The division uh, I'm going to be using is the Bringers of Flame, so they're going to love to spray their enemies with the righteous fire of the Emperor. So this uh, faction is going to be led by Saint uh, Celestine here, actually. Um, and she is painted by Den of Imagination. You always want your your sort of centerpieces to be the best possible looking you can. So thank you to Den of Imagination for that. Um, another really awesome piece I have is this Exorcist. So that's going to be equipped with the uh, missiles for some indirect fire. Just absolutely amazing, beautiful detail on, on this piece with the little cherubs up there top. Uh, I also have the out-of-print, uh, uh, what do you call these, uh, Pentient Engines. I also like these. These were the original ones. You see that they have a lot more chicks in them. So these two girls are leading the way, and there's a guy back there. Also, from War Daddy Miniatures on eBay, I've got these custom sort of Mexican Day of the Dead themed uh, Paragon War Suits. And then for the uh, core battle sisters, I've got uh, one squad of battle sisters, and I've attached uh, this one, which we're going to count as uh, Dialogus uh, for the extra 30 points. That, that rounds me out. I've got both types of flying sisters. I've got the Xeraphim and the Seraphim. <laughs> one is like double pistols, one is like, you know, with swords. Um, then for our close combat stuff, we have the clandestines. They are led by uh, Judith here on her flying little platform. Uh, I also have some Repentient Sisters with those huge uh, saw blades. And then a really, really awesome piece here. This is the Emolator. That has the really cool church-like stained glass window. This is pretty much why I wanted to play the Sisters. They love to just burn shit all the time. Uh, we also have some Arco uh, Flatulence is what I like to call them. These uh, <laughs> fart all over the battlefield. And that is my force of Battle Sisters. So let's see how they do. 
All right, so the next army up is going to be Jay's Gene Stealer Colts. Check them out. Okay, today I am running the Gene Stealer Colts. Uh, we have 1,500 points of the Outlander's Claw. All right, my warlord today is the Patriarch right there. He is a big brooding hunk of flesh. Uh, with him, he has uh, Kelamorphus. A next to him, he has on the bike Al uh, Jackal Alphys with this big old sniper rifle. Uh, over there on on the other side of him, he has Clamavus, and then San Sanctus, which is today modeled uh, with a. Colt sniper rifle instead of his uh, daggers. We have two units of jackals right here. The jackals. Yeah, right there. We have two units of those. We have two ridge runners. We have three rock grinders. We have two units of pure strain uh, gene stealers. This one right here is painted up by Den our friends at Den of the Imagination. Looking great right there. And then rounding out our troop choice, we have two squads of hybrid neophytes. And that is my 1500 point force of Gene Stick. Hey guys, so okay, those are the two armies. We're playing at 1500 points, and this is the first time we are going to be using the chapter approved prior nexus. So let's get to the table and uh, do up these missions. Okay, here is our primary mission. Primary mission is take and hold uh, the deployment. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, okay, so we're so gonna this, we're gonna go with this one, one since this, we set up the table. This is basically the same thing except for its long edge. Yeah, it goes a little bit. Yeah, and that's what we're actually set up for. So now we do the mission rule. How uh, is our battle going to be affected? Swift action. Time is running out. Cataclysm approaches on an unimaginable scale. In the face of such terrors, every warrior fights with the speed and fury of desperation. Battle line units that advance or fall back are still eligible to perform an action in that turn. Okay. Uh, we are fully deployed, and now we've got to do the roll-off. Two again. Five. <laughs> Fuck. All right, you get first turn. All right, I'll take it. I always say if you're gonna get into Warhammer forty thousand, you're gonna spend five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. So don't don't play unless you're prepared to spend five hundred dollars. <laughs> Instead, you can come hang out with us yeah. and see us play. It. Yeah. <laughs> um, and be but no, you, to you can do it for cheaper <laughs> for sure. A combat patrol box is only like a hundred bucks or something, yeah. but then you gotta buy paints, yeah, and then you, paint. that's a lot of time that's and effort. Yeah. So you you could technically do it for maybe a less than two hundred. Yeah if you already have opponents to play against. Okay, at the end of turn one, the Pentian engines uh, had, uh, moved up. Then char uh, not only did they use their flamers to really burn the hell out of those jackals, these flamers are going into the jackals and wounding on threes. threes. Boy, yeah. these boys are exposed. There's two more dice. Okay, so uh, the ones and the twos miss because they are twin linked i'm re-rolling the these misses all right. <laughs> all right just one more from there so that is eight nine ten eleven wounds eleven. uh the armor piercing on a flamer is nada eleven wounds on your jackals burn in fire Uh, so nine wounds. Nine wounds. That, 11 shots. That'll wipe them out. Huh? But also, uh, they charged uh, because Pentian engines, man, they are they are great. They may be glass cannons, but uh, they they do a lot of damage. And the twin saw blades uh, blew up one of the ridge runners. Now these are threes and re-rolling misses. Damn, I'm glad they are twin linked. I have four misses, and I needed. I needed threes. So, uh, five wounds threes. at armor piercing uh, three. Can Jay roll sixes? No. 
Not today. One. <laughs> so All right. Four. Each of those dice uh, get two damage apiece. So four times two, eight, eight damage. Uh, basically, my forces have moved up the center field. Uh, the Paragon War Suits took a bunch of shots at those two uh, uh, rock grinders and only destroyed one of them. Uh, took a bunch of pop shots uh, with bolt guns doing basically nothing. The Exorcist came out from hiding and fired its missiles into the other uh, uh, rock grinder that had the mining laser because I was super scared of it and blew it up. We've got four. Fours. Four, <laughs> four, fours. four fours. Four fours. Uh, armor piercing negative three. Wow. Exorcist missiles. All right, so needing sixes. Save one. Okay, so three wounds. Each wound is worth D6. What? So we can possibly blow the fuck out of this right now. Yeah. Here we go. Get him. Oh! <laughs> six, six, six! <laughs> you demon foul demon spawn! You Ugh. will be purged! <laughs> the emperor! For the emperor! Hey, you know, you know these get the. That's fucking I need to roll for both of damage. <laughs> but bloom. Did, did every no, die no, no. That, not that one. It's that one. <laughs> this one was firing at that one with the heavy. You got loaded. every die sound effect there. Mm -hmm. And over here, the emulator came around and flamed some of those jackals, killing some. And these just moved up the, the field. And these are in honor of the Crusaders who have been removed from the Codex. So these guys uh, will basically never be played again, unfortunately, which <laughs> sucks. Uh, so cool. I yeah. bought them and they're painted and now I'll never get to use them. So Dang. anyways, that is the end of uh, turn one. Uh, pretty, pretty dominant from, from the sisters. Uh, there wasn't a lot out there for the Gene Stealers. Those mining lasers uh, did some work, but just not enough right. uh, there. So we'll see what happens uh, in at the end of turn two. Cold cool. or deep strikes, rather. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring everything. Holy shit! Here comes the actual horde. So behind enemy lines. Here come the pure strain. G guys put on that, that objective. All right, where are you starting? So let's go with the brood. Okay. Uh, brood Lord, the patriarch. This one, yeah. you need nine. Going into the, Which one? the chicks right here. Battle sisters? Yeah. All right, nine. Ooh. Fuck! Damn. Fuck! <laughs> they run high. This is oh. bad. All of them. All right, let's do the next one. against the sisters. Yeah, those are the sisters. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, <man. laughs> oh, All right, oh, use, my, use my CP. Use CP? my CP. CP. Reroll? Yeah. All right. Last yeah. CP. Yeah. No more CP for you. No more CP for me. No. <laughs> it was a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah, much, but a little bit. <laughs> And so right. can you still move as, that as much? No. 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 no, you can't just move it. right there. Uh, that's cool, though. We, we in it. That's all I needed. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go with the, the Goliath into them, too. So anything but... Auto. auto. Yeah. It's pretty much auto. Yeah. It, it was a, a complete disaster uh, for the sisters at the end of turn two. Uh, so that Pentian engine uh, flamed and charged the remaining jackals could not uproot that uh, jackal. Uh, Saint Celestine uh, landed there. She failed her charge uh, and did shit for damage on those guys. Uh, Arco Flatulence failed their charge. The Repentia squad failed their charge. Um, the, let's see, Judge Judy charged and the Rhino charged only killed one bike yep. and so failed to uproot that one. Uh, those ladies shot, failed to kill anything, uh, did not charge, and uh, 
Then over here, the Gene Steelers fought first because they were the defenders, wiped the rest of the Paragon war suits, and Jay <coughs> was, I guess, three inches went through this wall and uh, engaged the sisters in the middle of the battle. So disastrous turn. I really, uh, really didn't do anything except for the exorcist firing and killing the... Uh, I don't think I've ever done such little damage in one turn in Warhammer with any faction before. Yeah. So that was that was quite disastrous. So uh, let's see if Jay can have a bad turn three, and maybe. I have a good turn yeah. three, and then maybe it's possible. But if Jay has a really good turn three, then I think uh, it'll be over. So go ahead. Basically, Jay. what happened in this turn? Judge Judy and the Rhino fell back, uh, and then I had the. Uh, Seraphim squad uh, charge, and so I got that down the neophytes to one. Uh, moved up my emulator and blasted only one or two gene stealers yeah. over here. That was a bad move. I misplayed. I should have drove this emulator right here and got within nine inches of that objective marker to prevent one of the units from respawning. So misplayed there, but you learn. Uh, St. Celestine came over and uh, almost wiped a whole squad herself. So that was that was D6 fine. number of attacks. Hey, go. thank you. There you go. Give me some <laughs> sympathy bullshit. So six attacks for the Ardent Blade. Uh, for the vehicle. Gotcha. And this is, oh, it's a fucking auto hit blade. Oh, wow. That's cool. And then strength six versus your toughness of three. three. So twos, twos to wound. Yeah. And all hits. And all. it has negative two armor piercing. Yeah, that'll, that'll, take that'll out strip blood. their armor. Yeah, that'll take out... Uh, what, five? Six? Six of them. Six of them. Well, now you're going to have to choose one of your special weapons here. You've you got were using two Webbers. Yeah, give me the um, one of the big ones. I'm going to keep the Webbers. Okay. All right. Then the Exorcist fired all of its rockets and rolled pretty well, but unfortunately not well enough. I needed two more damage to blow that up and uh, blow that vehicle up. And yeah, it, it's actually somewhat close. Now, yeah. he is ahead by 10 points, but that could be made up uh, in, in the last two turns. But we'll see, actually, because it really depends on, on how he moves his gene stealers, I think, is key. So uh, go ahead, uh, Jay, with right. uh, turn four. All right, uh, so command Yeah, 25. I would need to make up 25. I would have to flip all objectives for two turns and maybe get some, uh, some secondaries. secondaries while denying you secondaries. Yeah. I think it's out of reach, guys. So we are going to call it. Good. Jay, this good is game. Super close. Yeah, Dang. it was. It was very close. In fact, okay, that is it, guys. Those Gene Stealers uh, cults started to respawn their people, but honestly, the sisters. You know, uh, if I felt if I didn't roll so poorly yes. during two yes. of my four turns, and I rolled really poorly, and we both knew our factions better then it would be very, very close. It was still, you know, somewhat close. It would have been close if I didn't roll really, really bad. Right. You know, this is the first time using them. Yeah. I just love their units. The the emulator, the exorcist was a lot more powerful and, and you know than I thought. But yeah. a lot of their stuff seems glass cannon. It, so it you does. better set it up and set it up right. But almost the same thing with the gene stealers, I right? Love the I love the aesthetics of the gene stealers with the vehicles. Yeah, the vehicles. Uh, I don't care how they play; <laughs> they are they are also very glass cannony, because those. Uh, uh, I didn't and I and I didn't use them to, to the full effect of the devastating wounds when they do the demolition run. Yeah, I could have had a lot more of that. Yes, um, and I just I like the way they play. They're very fast, very maneuverable. The Gene Stealers are the MVPs. Those suckers yeah. are Oof. nasty. If you yeah, if the Gene Stealers pop them up, they're nine inches away. You hit those charges, you're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like orcs. You know, if yeah. the orcs hit them charges, they're good. Uh, now they'll fall apart afterwards, right? Because they're only five plus, yeah. In, in, yeah. you know, saves. And they don't um, really hit that hard. 
Uh, I mean, but that's a lot damage. of attacks. It's a lot of it's attacks. It's a lot of attacks. A lot of easy 20 attacks. 20 to 40 dice if right. you have a full right. unit. Right. So, yeah, that's where a lot of your power was. And I had a lot of fun on, on this really as did. well. Uh, I think both of these codexes are solid. I, I have heard that the Gene Stealers, t uh, Gene Stealer Colts, took more of a nerf yes. than yes. the Sisters. That's what I've heard. I think too. the yeah. Sisters took more of a buff yeah. than the but Gene Stealer still, Colts. It, their, was their buff that good? Yeah. Right, and now they're probably on par with each other. Right, Maybe right, that's right, right. why they're releasing kind of these two books at the same time. Right. Maybe not. But uh, I will complain about one thing. Number one, you removed my Crusaders. I just got them painted, and now I can't use them. So this unit is out of the Sisters. So that I hate it when they remove those resin models right when I finish painting them and getting them on the battlefield. Yes. So can't use them anymore. And then I only have uh, how many detachments did you say you had? Uh, so data cards, it was no, like, not data cards, but detachments. Oh, detachments. Remember how uh, I like to? It was five. You had five, five detachments, yeah, and five. I only have four. One, two, three, four, and that's it. So, but honestly, you know, we really, I want a default number of detachments for every, I want a default minimum yeah. for every faction. And right now, it seems like the default minimum for Warhammer 10th edition is four, right? I don't think yeah. any faction has less than four right, so right, right, far. Right. Uh, but I think the default minimum should be six. Well, you could count this as four because only one of them is with the Imperial Guard. Yeah, but that's something your faction can do that yeah. no other faction can, yeah. really. So, But, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, that five, if it went to six, I wouldn't complain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For the Gene Steeler All right, cult. well, that's it for this one. I had a lot of fun on a yeah, Sunday. Uh We'll try to cut, <laughs> cut the time <laughs> whoever, a little bit. Yeah. Whoever edits this one going to have a little bit of a, diffi a difficult time. But um, we now know both these armies, and, yeah, yeah. cool. Well, thank you guys uh, so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun, and we will uh, see you guys on the next. Oh, wait. Yeah. Payouts. Yeah, we, we will. Payout. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. We will see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. Later. So that is just for the recording. Um, but uh, Patrick will need to pay out uh, J1. Oh, and so everybody that picked Jay, it was a a, a, a victory by Jay. Barely. So yeah. sorry, guys. I my sister called. I had to. I still had fun. It is. You get like but that atrophy. Like you said, we still. Jay. Still, uh, Gene still is cool. Yeah, Jay, complete prediction. Uh, scroll down a little bit. Oh, sorry. Oh, you could just do that. Yeah, I didn't know. Okay, complete. There you go. No, you need a bur buff AJ because I just <laughs> lost. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's go. I got Thank y'all so much, and we will see you on the next Deuces. Angry Joe Show. Bye, well, guys. Later.